Hi everyone, welcome back to Microbiogenics. Today I am going to discuss about another method of quantification of DNA in a PCR cycle and this method is probe based method. So we have learned about the ethidium bromide method and now we are moving into the next method that is probe based method. So what is a probe? Probe is something that will give a signal and this signal indicates the amount of product DNA that is formed per cycle, per cycle of PCR. So this signal is detected and this is how the real time monitoring of DNA amplification is done in PCR cycle. So let's move into the probe based method of DNA detection. First of all we should know about the probe. So the probe that is used most commonly is Tachman probe. And this Tachman probe is basically an oligonucleotide residue that has attached with it a reporter molecule and a quencher molecule. So it is an oligonucleotide that means it will have a 5' end and a 3' end. So this is the 5' end and this is the 3' end. And this Tachman probe has attached with it a reporter molecule and a quencher molecule. So it will have a reporter molecule bound to it and a quencher molecule bound to it. So this is the structure of the probe. It is, an, uh, it is a single stranded oligonucleotide that will have attached with it a reporter molecule and a quencher molecule. And this oligonucleotide will be complementary to the template DNA. This oligonucleotide is complementary to the template DNA. So this is how the structure of the probe looks. Now coming to the function of this reporter and quencher. So what is the function of reporter? This reporter is basically a fluorophore. It is a fluorophore. That means it will produce fluorescence and this fluorescence is the signal that is detected. So when this reporter produces fluorescence, that fluorescence is detected. And what is the function of the quencher? This quencher molecule plays a very important role. What is the role? When this quencher molecule is closer to the reporter molecule, then this quencher molecule will not allow the emission of fluorescence by this reporter molecule. When this quencher is in close proximity with the reporter, the signal emitted by the reporter is blocked. That means that when the quencher and reporter are within a certain distance or closer together, closer within a certain distance, the quencher will not allow the reporter to fluoresce. That means the signal is stopped. So when quencher and reporter are within a certain distance, the signal, the signal that is emitted by reporter is blocked. No signal is produced when reporter and quencher are within a close proximity. So this, this characteristic of the probe actually helps in the detection of the DNA product. So we will look how the process occurs.